Hello world, welcome to QNet Live. I'm your host of the day, Michael. Um, Stan is away on a little secret mission, so today I will be hosting this program and I'm with our product manager for networking products, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Hi Michael. Uh, uh, as you may already know from the uh, title of the video, today we are going to introduce you about the new Guardian series machines, but uh, what you may not know is that actually the the Guardian series is very popular and are receiving a lot of positive feedback from our customer. Is that right, yeah, Jonathan? Correct. No, we, we receive positive feedback of this product. All right. So you are going to introduce us about this new product, yeah, right? Yeah, we have a new product, QGD 1602P. All right, let's go ahead. This is a powerful SD1 Q1 platform with networking upgrades. And this is a new member of our Guardian Smart Edge PoE switch series. And on our existing customers, we collect the voice of the customer on, uh, for uh, different areas. And we respond this on, by creating this new product. So this product has several performance upgrades, um, the features and advantages, including the 20 gigabit internal bandwidth, the PoE feature, virtualization and uh, QNAP Q1 as the one solution. So with this product, we can have a flexible deployment topology. In the power sourcing equipment product evolution, the first generation is a managed PoE switch and the second generation is a layer two or layer three uh, managed PoE switch. Now, this is the third generation. Our Guardian Smart Edge PoE switch, including lots of new features, uh, such as uh, 10 GBE SFP plus and it is built with the Intel Atom C3000 series 4 core and 8 core CPU and also it support uh, Intel QAT technology and uh, on our Guardian switch uh, users can uh, inst install the uh, virtual machine with QTS and it supports the hybrid cloud storage and the PoE part uh, is about IEEE X0 2.3 BT and also it support our SD1 solution, the Q1. So from our existing customer, we collect some of voice from them and the first one. Uh, we need more Ethernet battery for my LAN application. And the reason is uh, because uh, nowadays 2.5 gigabit Ethernet on NAS and computers is very common now. And many Wi-Fi router and access point also support 2.5 gigabit. So the second, is it possible to increase the internal bandwidth between the QTS host and switch? Because on the existing uh, Guardian QGD uh, 1600P, the capacity is 2 gigabit. Yeah. And for it is shared for the multiple virtual machine to access the switch part. The third one, why there's only one host port? Why don't QNet build more host port on a single product? Because users can only share a single port for different deployment. And the last one, can we have another CPU option to have more speed and cores for visualization? Because on this existing product, we, we were using the four core Intel Celeron CPU only. Right, so based on those customer feedback, we have made some improvement with this new model, right? Yeah, correct. So we respond by creating this new model, the QGD 1602P. This is built with the Intel CPU 4-core and 8-core processors and with 2.5 gigabit RJ45 internet port on the switch and 2 SFP plus port. And on the host port side, we increase to two, to four host port and two of the of the host port support five gigabit. And for the PoE, previously our maximum power is sixty watt, and now we upgrade to support ninety watt. And for the internal bandwidth capacity, we also increase from two gigabit to twenty gigabit. And for the memory, we also upgrade to support maximum sixty four gigabyte. So not only have we increased the 
computing power of the model, we also made some improvement to the uh, network connectivity, right? right. With, with more speed and speed. faster internal connections. Yes, correct. So for the QGT 1602P hardware, there's the architecture. We have new CPU, four core and eight core. Our memory can upgrade maximum to 64 gigabyte. And for the internal bandwidth, we have two dedicated 10 gigabit. So in total, this is 20 gigabit. And for the SFP plus port, this is a new additional to this product that can support up to 10 gigabit as well. And um, on the host port, as I mentioned, this is now we have four host ports. Two of them are five gigabit. And we also have two M.2 MVME slot for for the expansion. Again, for the internal bandwidth capacity, you start asking, oh, we need more and more speed and capacity. So we have two dedicated uh, linkage between the host and the switch. So between the host part and the switch part, we have total 20 gig gigabit for the virtual machine to access the uh, switch for the networking. And actually, it's yeah. um, it's very reasonable to assume that with a better CPU and more RAM, you you, you will run more virtual machines uh, on the model. So the internal bandwidth requirement will increase, right? Yes, correct. We can we cannot just upgrade the CPU without upgrade the other part. With the Intel new Atom CPU, uh, it supports the Intel QAT technology. This is a quick assistant, a quick assist technology, which improves the encryption and compression. So, when the um, when it's applied to the VPN traffic, uh, when we use the IPsec, then the performance will uh, will be better and better. And here is the front panel and back panel of this product. We can see that um, we have lots of network upgrades, two 10 GB SSP plus port, eight uh, 1 G port, and eight uh, 2.5 G port, and for the four holes port, and we have two USB 3.0 port as well. And mm -hmm. I have to point out that we have separated host and switch system indicator and the reset button. And also the host part has its own power button that's separate from the switch part. That facilitate yeah. uh, easier management. Easier right? management that is fit for the photo indication. And we have two PCIe 20 slots as well. And here's the internal view. We have the Intel Atom CPU and uh, DDR4 memory and two M.2 NVMe SSD slot and two PCIe slot. Also is uh, have to two point five inches hard disk slot. For the PV sections, um, this product support IEEE X two point three BT standard, and it support PV scheduling, and the maximum power is a three hundred eighty watt, and for the single port, it support up to ninety watt. This is a major upgrade for the PV part. Yeah. And so with this, this uh, product, the IP camera can um, start remotely and uh, also we, pr we offer the uh, power supply pri priority in the configuration and uh, this device uh, supports the remote management. So for the PUE part, administrator can manage the PUE device remotely. With the PUE scheduling function, administrator can save the energy and the co power cost by this product. You can see that on the on the on our web GUI configuration. Administrator can can uh, decide when to on off the, their devices. And because this device supported my QNAP cloud. So administrator can also manage the PoE devices remotely and check their device real-time remotely. Yeah. So with lots of, there's lots of uh, PLE 
uh, function. So we include all, all these functions with the uh, graph, graphical display. Uh, we have a dashboard to show all the, all the post status, uh, which post is powering on by PoE and the, and the current PoE uh, status. So this is very user friendly for the administrator. You don't need the, the command line. Yeah. yeah, the device is very powerful, but we are trying to make the management more intuitive and simple, right? Yes, correct. And because this is a fully uh, support for the layer two network, network management, so let me introduce the uh, layer two network management features on this product. Again, we offer the user friendly user interface. And for the feature part, uh, it supported uh, IGMP snooping, uh, especially for the multicast performance, uh, some media streaming, real IP, or other bandwidth in intensive and sensitive data that cannot be deleted. So, IGMP snooping can optimize the traffic. And it supports the VLAN. You can enhance the network security by assigning different VLAN for different group of users. For example, the administrators, uh, general users, or guests, etc. And it also support the link aggregation. It supported this RACP to increase the transmission speed by combining two physical link. And also, this product supported QoS, then can prioritize different kind of data traffic. And it provides security on the access control list. Then can it can uh, whitelist or blacklist some uh, devices by different protocol IP address. And it supports the root detection and protection, so it can avoid the network interruption by this feature. Also, it supports the port mirroring. Port mirroring is very useful useful for the administrator for the uh, packet capturing to debug the network issues and also support the uh, jumbo frame. All right, I know you have prepared a demo unit so we can see some uh, um, yeah, of course. VNs and the switch in action, right? Yes. So let's go to that. Here's our major web interface for this product, QGD1602P. You can see that we have a dashboard and for POD status, you can see that we have an icon to show that it is the, uh, this support is power supplying power for the POE, and we have show all the devices how much power consumption. And the configuration, as I mentioned, all these feature, at least in the configuration part, in the favorite is very user friendly. And for the virtualization, now on this product, we already run five virtual machines, including the free PPX server, Ubuntu, Linux, PFSense, and the Cepix appliance, as well as the Windows. And let's check the CPU usage. It's just 10% right now. Yeah, and the operation is still very smooth. And when you switch between windows, there is uh, no delays, yes, no quarters. Right. All right, let's move on. So with um, so many powerful hardware improvements that uh, it will be more suitable for more applications, more scenarios. So are you, are you going to walk us, through, walk us through this part? Of course. The major part of the, this product is the flexible to support different scenarios. But before that, Let's talk about the virtualization and the SD WAN solution of this product. Sure. QGD sixteen zero two P supported virtualization, virtualization station and container station. That administrator can install different kind of virtual machine or containers. That just to see what which kind of the deployment that you need, and you can choose to just install it and not and deploy into to your network. So people keep asking, is it just a NAS with a switch as a guardian? Mm -hmm. 
those so the answers is apparently no because traditional in the traditional deployment the configuration will you need to uh several equipment and you need to configure your equipment on different devices but with our guardian solution all this configuration can be uh, completed in the single devices so you don't need a lot of other equipment like the um, power sourcing equipment or the other servers you, you, you just need one guardian just, to just finish need, everything yeah you just need one guardian as a single solution because you need for the PoE you may need to find another TV switch and you have to com combine with another NAS we don't need to have a single management interface and single product to, to solve this issue yeah sure the next one is our SD1 solution, the Q1. QGD 1602P support our new QNAP SD1, the, Q, the Q1. This technology can able, uh, is allowed the administrator to set the SD1 easily at their branch office, uh, restaurants, uh, and chain stores. For example, if you have free, easily. And more than that, if you need Wi-Fi access, we just not we can combine with our existing solution. We can use our QWA AC two six zero zero as a Wi-Fi access point, and then on an, the other branch office, we have another guardian switch, and maybe some employee need to work from home yeah. right now. Then yes. we can use another Q one equipment, which is a Wi-Fi system. Uh, equ uh, Q1 equipment called Q uh, Qhorror 301W then you can establish your Q1 and also with the Wi-Fi capability also it's support to use uh, combined with the PFSense to have a transparent firewall together with the Q1 and on the enterprise wireless uh, AP, we also offer the solution to uh, to minimize your cost on the equipment. Mm. On the traditional deployment on the left hand side, you can see that you need several devices. You need a cloud key, you need a PoE switch, and a gateway to uh, to install and manage all the wireless AP. But with Guardian switch, you can install the unified controller in a virtual machine and use the PFSense as the display server. So one box for all, you just replace all at least these two on the left, right? Yes, you can save a lot of space. You just need to um, consider which, where to put this one devices. Yeah. And this is highly integrated. And also for the real IP phone deployment, in a uh, traditional deployment, you need an additional router, switch, and also to set up a PPIX server. And with Guardian solution, we have combined all this one in a single device. So with this product, we can deploy very um, in different scenario and it provides flexibility. First, we have flexible choice on our processor. Mm -hmm. the, we, now, this QGD 1602P, we have two CPU models, one with four core and one with eight core. It can support one uh, different um, number of the virtual machines. It depends how much in, how, how many we have to, you need to deploy, then you can choose the, the, uh, the model. So, for the restaurants and the retail store deployment scenario, um, we offer this um, example for the users. First, uh, for the POE devices, uh, this chain store or restaurant might need to install 4K pan to zoom surveillance, and which is now need to uh, to use X02.3 BT POE and they might need to install their Wi-Fi POE access point as well 
and also their electronic menus, the plan itself, and digital signage, and also they for their data in their restaurant and retail store, they might need to transfer the data back to their headquarters yes. or to other stores mm. privately. So we can use the Q1 to set up the private network and also we can expand the storage for the surveillance by connecting a 2.5 gigabit NAS for the uh, for the uh, video backup. Yeah. So with this scenario, you can install the Q1 and Q1 Pro and use the our SFP plus port as the internet and you can connect our 156Q horror FISO 1W at AP mode at the 10 gig port as well and our devices you can connect to the, our PoE port and for the high power devices you can connect to, to uh, our PoE BT port so almost everything is covered by the Guardian machine right? yes so you just in in this uh, diagram, you just it's just uh, for the wireless you attach another Q Hora here, but uh, for for data transfer for powering those devices, it's all being taken care of by the guardians. Yes, correct, and and it is highly expandable. You can see that there's all lots of empty port, and it, we even not not using the USB and PCIe. Yeah, and actual actually, actually you can use another deployment approach because we have a 5 gigabit host port so actually we can just use the 5 gigabit host port as the internet and use the other ports for the PoE devices and use the um, and connect the uh, wireless AP to uh, with the VM in install with the unified controller And for the SMB and workstation scenario, also they, they have uh, some demand to install the uh, 4K pan system surveillance, the uh, enterprise PoE wise AP, and in the SMB environment, the uh, networking devices might need to uh, support a 10 gigabit or 5 gigabit or 2.5 gigabit. Is this uh, at with this Guardian devices? It support all of this and we can support to install the firewall and you support to um, for the Vulkan LAN and also with the Q1 the SDN SDN when creation is very easy to um, connect to the headquarters and other branch office so for this deployment scenario we can install the Q1, QVR Pro, and the free PBX server. And we can, um, for the 10 uh, SFP Pros, we can connect it as an internet. And if you want to extend your network for more tank, for more port, then you can connect to our QSW M408 10 gigabit switch. And for the storage expansion, you can use our tl for u the expansion so it's a very complete ecosystem right you need more ports we have uh, another uh, qsw switch if you need wireless we have q hora just but all everything can be taken care of right? yes correct and for for other, another scenario i mentioned that might want to have a transparent firewall and for the multi one and with the router OS because with the transparent firewall it can protect the network without making any IP changes on other devices you can just install it and plug it in your network then you have your security with the firewall and you can have the for the router OS this is have a benefits with the load balancing and fail over with the multi one so with this Scenario, we can change it to have a uh, use the router OS and PFSense installed at the virtual machine, and also we have installed the unified controller for controlling other wireless AP in the SME environment. And if you, if the administrator need further 
storage expansion, we have a 16-bay TL D1600S as a storage expansion. And then we can use the two SFP plus port as a multi one. So we have provided a uh, lot of uh, flexibility and also um, administrators can expand the functionality by purchasing other uh, accessories like our PCIe accessory for QM2, QWAAC, 2600 Wi Fi card. And because we have to upgrade the PCIe from Gen 2 to Gen 3. All right, cool. That's fascinating, Jonathan. But I just saw someone in front of me and waving at me, that saying that he wants to talk to our audience also. So let's take a little break right here, and we bring the special guest in, shall we? Sure. All right. Hold on. All right, we are back. It's you, Jason. Hi. Hi, hi, Michael. Hello, uh, Jonathan. Hello, hi, everyone. Yeah, I just have a question for you, actually, Jason. Um, from the last slide I saw, that it mentioned the, the uh, TR expan storage expansion device, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, with IP surveillance, we need some recording space. Apparently, um, just two 2.5 inch disk space, now you're not right. Mm -hmm. So what kind of um, storage expansion options we have to offer to, offer to our users to, to combine with the Guardian Suite? Mm -hmm. Sure, so let me uh, introduce uh, what kind of uh, expansion units you can connect to the QGD 16.02P and then to expand its capacity, All right. okay? So when you think of uh, external drives, you know, right now the very common interfaces will be USB. I think everyone is already familiar with that. And uh, USB speed starting from the very old 1.1, 2.0, and then 3.0, which is now uh, 3.2 Gen 1, 5, 5 gigabit per second. And then the new one has a USB 3.2 Gen 2, which is 10 gigabit per second. And then there's also USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 for 20 gig and then the USB 4 for 40 gig. So there are actually uh, many ways to expand the QGD capacity thanks to its uh, very powerful hardware specs. Right? That was introduced by uh, Jonathan earlier. And so if you look at the QGD 1602P on the right, you will see that uh, uh, it, in terms of uh, supporting the expansion, there are two ways to do it. First is the common the USB ports. Okay, it's got two of the USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. And another way is to uh, expand it through the PCI expansion. And with the PCI expansion, it's got a very powerful PCI Gen 3 by 2 with two slots available. So actually, uh, I'm going to tell you how you can use uh, either of these two options to expand the capacity. And so QNAP actually, uh, since two years ago, we have launched a variety of uh, various expansion units uh, for NAS and also for QGD. Uh, so when you connect the expansion units such as the TLJ bar or the TR RAID with the hardware RAID units to the QGD, you can actually uh, set up and then use it as a backup destination for your files and also for your snapshots. Uh, you can also configure it to be the storage uh, pool of your various QNAP applications such as the QSearch and QFiling. So which means uh, 
the data you store on the expansion units, you can do various search and then do a collaboration with our apps. And uh, there are more functions that can be supported. Okay, so this just a uh, this just give you a, a brief overview of uh, how you can use the expansion units with the QGD. So let's go through each type one by one. Okay, so starting uh, with the uh, very easy and common USB interface. So on the left hand side, you will see this is uh, the TLJ bar. So we have uh, two models. One is the desktop A bay version with TLD 800C. And then the other one is uh, the recommend version, the 12-bay TLR1200C dash RP means uh, it's got redundant power supply, so it's good for the business usage. And uh, J bar, both of the J bar units, they come with a uh, USB Type C on board, and then also up to Gen 2 10 gigabit speed. So it's actually uh, quite fast already for most users. And uh, J bar means uh, there's no hardware rate, so uh, QTS. And the QGD can create a software rate on it and then uh, to store the files. Uh, if you want to use this with uh, a different platform such as a Windows computer, Windows server, or even a Mac or Ubuntu, you can also do that because uh, we have verified the support of the various operating systems. And QNAP even, obviously, we provide a utility called JBAR Manager that. Uh, users can install it on these platforms and then to have a real-time monitoring of our enclosure and also the disks on the uh, units itself. So you can you are always in control of your system health with our utility. And uh, on the right hand side will be the USB based hardware rate boxes. So the speed varies. So for example the 2-bay TR002 supports uh, USB Gen 2 uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gig and then the 4 bay versions the TR004 and the TR004U have a USB 3.2 Gen 1 5 gig support and uh, so all these three devices the TR series have a hardware rate chip uh, built in on the motherboard so you can easily configure hardware rate uh, through our QTS in the QGD or with our utility for Windows and Mac with a call your external RAM manager to configure the rate or on the back of these devices we actually have a deep switch uh, hardware based so you can configure the hardware rate without connecting to a host so it gets you started very easily so uh, the versatility of the TR rate is that uh, it's good for uh, uh, cross-platform data exchange so uh, because uh, it will be configured as a big giant uh, external disk so you can exchange allows you to exchange data between the QGD and your Windows computer or Mac okay so all of these models we provide a USB C to A cable included so you can use it with a type A but uh, if your computer has a type C you can also use additional uh, optional C to C cable to make the connection okay so this is about the USB uh, J bar and the uh, hardware rate units. Uh, so earlier we mentioned that uh, QGD actually, um, like Jonathan said, has a, a very powerful Gen 3 by 2 PCI slot, yeah. right? So actually it makes it, it a good candidate to support this uh, high performance uh, PCIe based SATA J bar from QNAP. So these are also called TL series, okay? So basically uh, we make it very simple to make the connection. When you buy any of, the, any of these boxes, we already provide the required accessories so you can get started right away. For example, a corresponding PCIe adapter will be included. Okay, So this uh, will be PCIe Gen 3 based adapter plus the number of uh, cables for you to make a connection. Okay, So these models, uh, we have a range from the 4-bay four four in the desktop and the rack mount and then 8-bay desktop, 16-bay desktop and also the 12-bay recommend with a redundant power supply on the button there. So this can uh, really create a very high performance uh, with uh, this uh, TL uh, PCIe-based J bar. So all the way, it can really uh, utilize the full bandwidth of the PCI Gen 3 by 2 of the QGD, the new QGD device. So this is a one way, uh, if you want to get a very good performance, then definitely choose this, okay? So this is um, uh, 
two different uh, types of types of uh, JBAR and uh, RAID units that you can use to expand the QGD capacity. Now, when you connect it to the QGD, actually with the QTS, we have a very advanced uh, disk features that can help you uh, keep in touch, always be uh, in notified about the various uh, system information. For example, uh, the hard drive health, okay? And then uh, you can also perform the disk smart test to regularly check if the hard drive health is okay. And uh, if you are using uh, Seagate hard drives of the IronWolf series, then also we support its advanced uh, health information. So you can even uh, have a closer monitoring of the drives. Uh, also additional application functions can be performed such as uh, scanning the disk for more errors or the erase the entire disk just for safety reason if you want to uh, delete, dispose of the drives. Okay. Now, uh, this is, uh, these are achieved by the TLJ bar. Uh, however, for the TL, uh, for a TR rate, because uh, uh, many of the features are done by the hardware rate chip and the code inside, so actually uh, some of the uh, features are not uh, supported, but overall the uh, disk uh, information uh, are supported by both models. Okay, and also we all know that uh, because uh, you are the the J bar and the QGD are running twenty four seven. If you are using it for surveillance or even for uh, your central uh, file storage deposit area, then so the heat management of the drives becomes important because. Uh, uh, it, it's, it can determine how long your hard drive or SSDs will last. So actually with our QTS, we have uh, provided a very uh, good and advanced uh, system information and then consultation so that uh, based on your environment, you can uh, select uh, what kind of uh, temperature warning, the threshold, and also the chassis uh, temperature warning threshold uh, for this. And you can also monitor the fan information uh, of the chassis, so whether you are do it locally with our web interface, or you can use our, for example, uh, MyQNet Cloud or any other remote access or our mobile app to be instantly uh, monitoring the various status of the uh, device. Okay, so these are all integrated into our advanced QTS. Now, uh, with the J bar and the hardware rate boxes, they are actually two two ways to uh, use that. So the traditional way is that if your environment is composed of uh, QNAP and NAS and the QGD devices, then uh, you can use the uh, expansion units with that and then you configure as an internal, we call internal mode so that uh, you can create a storage pool on it uh, as a standalone storage pool and then store all your data. It can even be used to uh, perform a data migration among different QGD devices. So for example, I take it, uh, if you have uh, several terabytes of data, okay, or even more, uh, you know, if you want to transmit the data or pick up data through the internet, it can be, it can take days, okay? But uh, by using this uh, enclosure, you can simply transfer it in a day between different cities, okay? So this is one advantage to perform a data migration or backup. Now, if you want to use it with a different operating system, because unlike other vendors, which has a tight uh, strict usage, I would say, uh, between the JBAR and uh, the NAS, but uh, with this, uh, we do not uh, uh, limit that, which means uh, later on, if you upgrade it to a bigger JBAR or bigger uh, RAID box, you can still use the current uh, enclosure with other operating system. So you can configure it as an external device mode, uh, which means uh, in JBAR case, uh, our QTS will see this as individual hard drives, okay? Which allows you to, for example, to do a data archiving with each hard drive, it's like a tape system. Uh, you can also exchange the data with the different uh, hard drives uh, among the different operating systems. So. The dual usage makes it very uh, a good way to maximize your investment. Okay. All right. Cool. That Jason, that's a very thorough introduction of uh, our uh, storage expansion enclosures. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just wrap it up a little bit for our for our viewers to make a quick decision in what to buy? Yeah. So if you decide to get the QGD sixteen zero two P or the older the 
the 1600p uh, Azure switch and uh, storage solution. Be sure to check out these uh, various uh, expansion units available from QNAP. So I have, a pro I have provided a comparison table here. So basically, if you want to use it with a QGD only, then uh, the JBAR is a good uh, solution if you want a higher capacity or faster speed. So if you the TLO SALA JBAR and the TLO USB JBAR, you know, we have up to 16 bay available for you to uh, choose, you know, depends on your, uh, for example, how much the, long, the larger your data you need and the bigger device you will want to choose. And uh, for advanced, for example, if you decide someday you want to expand the rate capacity of the enclosure, then choose the JBAR because it's a software rate. So our QTS can uh, support the online uh, rate level migration and the capacity expansion to support that. The advantage with the TR highway rate on the right on the right column is that uh, uh, it provides a standalone hardware rate. So first, it does not uh, consume your extra host CPU resource. So you can have your QGD to perform more, uh, for example, switching functions or the data storage functions. And the second advantage is that it's, it is cross-platform, so you can easily use it with not just QNAP, QTS, but also Windows and Mac operating systems. Okay, so there are various uh, uh, advantage among different devices is just uh, you can uh, choose uh, depends on the capacity the number of devices you want to connect and then the cross platform requirement so that's a quick summary of these devices okay all right thank you jason for the uh, thorough introduction about the uh, tlmtr series yeah. and also thank you jonathan for giving us the introduction of the upcoming new guardian series machines and let me wrap it up a little bit. And with this machine, we listen to uh, customer feedback and improve the uh, performance and connectivity. And also with the additional expandability, you can combine more QNAP products and accessories to create your own applications that works for you, no matter if you are just a Soho studio, a multi-branch, retail store or uh, even an uh, intercontinental store, uh, co company that runs uh, various branches across the globe. So be sure to think about it when you are going to make decisions and accuse that the Guardian Switch will be a very good choice for you. So thank you again and that's all for today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.